since we are in the middle of earnings season right now, um, anything on this chart really stand out to you? You know, I think actually last time we spoke, I was talking about electric vehicles and they've certainly gotten hit really, really hard recently. Uh, we remain long on them, uh, you know, various ones, because one thing that's really interesting is that consumers have uh, more in savings, the percentage of their income and savings than almost ever, which is kind of, you know, anytime I say ever, I'm like, really ever, ever. But I think the last time they had this level of savings, and this is not the coronavirus Q2 2020, it's actually uh, settled a tone around 13%. The last time they had it at these levels was in the 70s. So the auto sector should be pretty strong um, if you're going to try to take some kind of insight out of that or predictions. And uh, when it comes to electric vehicles, some of them are really answering, you know, a few different problems. They're answering like, you know, if I look at NEO, I, I think I mentioned like in China, they don't really have oil like we do. So um, there's a lot of incentive to, um, you know, the government and then, you know, just there's just a lot of incentive and a lot of subsidies that are provided around electric vehicles because they don't have, you know, oil and whatnot. So uh, they're also making them really cutting edge at the same price as a normal, close to a normal, close to the same price as a normal vehicle. Um, like Xpeng is actually really competitive on price compared to like a combustion engine. So anyways, I, you know, I think that that was really interesting to see them come in strong. Tesla came in strong and they still sold off after earnings. So we're actually seeing a little bit of a weakness even despite strong earnings, I would say is the other thing to take away.